Hey everyone! Queen here and welcome back to my channel. So for this video ay tuturuan ko po kayo kung paano makapag-set up ng Upwork account. Hindi ko na ikwento sa inyo na third week of July, I started my freelancing career. At dito, kay Upwork, ako nakahanap ng first client at tinulungan niya ako guys na makahanap ng first client ka without experience. Ang kailangan lang ay iset up mo ang iyong account ng napakaganda para attractive ito kay client. And if you wanna know more what's gonna happen next, just continue watching and subscribe to this channel. So, let's go to my screen recording. Okay guys, andito na tayo sa aking screen recording. And then, first things first na gagawin natin is punta tayo kay Google Chrome. Mag-sign up lang tayo dito guys. Um, type lang natin si Upwork and then click natin itong login. Kapag may account ka na kay Upwork, automatic na pwede ka na mag-continue with Google. But since magsa-sign up pa tayo guys, or magsa-set up pa tayo ng account, sa so sign up muna yung i-click natin. Dito, join as a client or freelancer. So since gusto natin maging isang freelancer, so click natin itong I'm a freelancer looking for work. And then apply as a freelancer. So dito guys, tatanungin ka ng mga some informations about you. So your first name, your... Um, surname, your email, your password. So, create ka dito, guys, ng password na matatandaan mo lang siya ng madali. Okay. And then, your place, which is Philippines. Yes, send me email with tips. Yes, I understand. Agree. And then, click create account. Oh, okay. So, since nagamit ko na itong email ko dati, guys, sa isa kong Upwork account or sa Upwork account ko talaga, guys, gagamit tayo ng ibang email. Okay, ayan. Click natin yan. Okay, guys. So, kailangan nating i-verify ang ating email. So, punta tayo sa ating email. So, may do not reply dyan. At nakalagay ang verify email. So, click natin yan, guys. Okay. Okay, congratulations. Your account is verified. Redirecting. So, wait lang natin siya kaunti. Okay, sabi dito, Hey, Queenie, ready for your next big opportunity? Of course! Answer a few questions and start building your profile. So, apply for an open rules or list services for clients to buy, get paid safety, safely, and know where to help. So, it only takes 5 to 10 minutes and you can edit it later. We'll save as you go. So, get started. So, first is a few quick questions. First, have you have you freelance before? So since wala tayong experience, talaga lang natin, wala tayong experience. Nope, it's new to me. And then sabi dito, got it. So what's your biggest goal for freelancing? Of course, to earn money, to make on the side, to get experience. I can find a full time job. And then okay, okay, okay. And then sabi dito. And how would you like to work? I'd like to find opportunities myself. I'd like to package up my work for clients, but I'd like to upwork to act as recruiter. So, I'd like to find opportunities myself. And then next natin siya, guys. Nice! Now, let's start setting up your profile. So, dito, guys, how would you like to tell us about yourself? It could be an import from LinkedIn. It could be upload your resume. And it could be a fill out manually. So, 15 minutes. So, ito na lang fill out manually, guys. So, got it. Now, add a title to tell the world what you do. So, dito, guys, it's the very first thing client sees. So, make it count. Stand out by describing your expertise in your own word. Sa example, graphic designer ka. But for me, is social media media management management pwede po data entry pwede din naman um sorry wrong spelling data entry pwede din naman um email management so guys i-put niyo lang lahat dito kung ano yung mga expertise niyo next add your experience Okay, if you have relevant work experience, add it here. So, kapag may mga experiences ka na, guys, pwede mo siyang i-add dito. Click mo lang yan, guys. And then, 
add mo yung experience mo. Okay guys, wag na lang natin siyang lagyan. Pero kapag may experience naman kayo, pwede niyong lagyan dyan guys. And pwede po, pwede naman na, okay, pwede naman na nothing to add. Check the box and keep going. So now, add your education. So dito naman guys, clients like to know what you know, add your education here. So kapag college grad kayo, or still, um, Still studying pa kayo, so ilagay nyo lang siya dyan guys, add your education dyan guys. But let's not go further that way guys, basta just click this one kapag gusto nyo i-add the school, kung ano yung graduate degree mo, the field of study, kailan ka nag-first attend sa school, and then kailan ka nag-graduate, and then you can put the description here guys, okay? So next naman is the language. So, kapag hindi mo siya lalagyan ng education, guys, you can click this one, nothing to add. And then, next is for your language. So, looking good, next, tell us which languages you speak. So, it could be, um, language is English, and then my level is, for example, basic, conversational, fluent, native, or bilingual. So, you can put the conversional if yun yung gusto nyo ilagay dyan. And then, you can also put some language here kapag may ibang language na alam mo pang salitain. So, you can also put here this um, Arabic. Ito. Ito mga language na to. But since walang Tagalog dyan. Ay, may Tagalog. Yes. May Tagalog. And then, you can put the native or bilingual gen guys and then you can now proceed to share your skills okay nearly there what work are you here to do so your skills show clients what you can offer and help us choose which jobs to recommend to you add or remove the ones we've suggested or start start typing to pick more it is up to you so lagay natin management skills business so suggested lang yan guys so pwede mo siya dito social media management okay and then email management sorry Okay, marketer ata ang na meron. Marketing. Okay. And then, content creation. Ayan. So, you can put everything, guys, na skills nyo. At dito sa skills, guys, hindi naman ibig sabihin na sobrang expert na kayo dito sa field na to. It's just kapag may mga basic na alam lang kayo. Kasi hindi naman ibig sabihin na na hindi kayo expert dyan, so hindi nyo na pwedeng ilagay. Basta alam nyo lang yung basic, guys. And you can do the work as a content creation, as an email marketing, as a social media management, or any kind na skills na ilalagay nyo dyan, guys. It's okay, kasi mapapractice nyo naman talaga yan. And don't worry about it, guys, kung hindi kayo sobrang expert dyan, kasi mapapractice natin yan, okay? And then, dito may mga suggested ano sila. So, you can delete that one. Or you can add that one kung ano yung mga skills nyo talaga, guys. And then, now write your bio. So, dito, guys, click natin yan. And then, great! Now, write a bio to tell the world about yourself. So, dito, help people get to know you at a glance. What work are you best at? Tell them clearly using paragraph or bullet points. You can always edit later. Just make sure you proof read now. I am Queenie C.A. Alcocero. Alcocero living at 24 years old. 24 years. Sorry. <laughs> years of age living in in the Philippines. So, anything na gusto nyong i-describe about yourself, guys, ilagay nyo siya dito. I do work. I do this task. So, pwede nyo siyang i-bullet. One, data entry. Like that. Second is um, efficient. Efficient. Efficient in MS office 
like Word, Excel, Excel, PowerPoint. Um, okay, sorry, wrong spelling, wrong. Tapos lagay niya din dito. Um, number three is I own my I own YouTube channel, YouTube channel for one year. So lagay niya dyan, guys, kasi it could be a niche review para makita kayo ni client at para matanggap kayo ng work. So, lahat na gusto nyo i-describe sa sarili nyo, lahat na gusto nyo i-market yung sarili nyo, so ilagay nyo siya dyan, guys, sa bio nyo para automatically madaling makita ni client. And then, you can click the choose your area of work. So, so next, guys, is dito, what are the main services you offered? So, you can click that one. So, ano nga yung mga services na kaya mong i-offer kay um, client? So, you can do the admin support, which is itong um, data entry. Pwede din yan. Itong virtual assistant. Yan. Pwede nyo siyang ilagay. And ano pa ba? Ang dami pwede nyo pagpilian, guys, translation. Um, localized service, ayan, kung kapag engineer kayo, you can do this one. Kapag um, customer service kayo, you can click this community management and tagging or anything, guys. Okay, guys, tapos na natin itong services you can offer. So, next natin itong set your rate. So, dito, guys, kapag uh, baguhan ka pa lang, sobrang mahirapan ka talaga at nagugulan ka talaga kung ilan yung hourly, hourly rate na ilalagay mo. But, kapag baguhan ka pa, I suggest na mga $5 lang yung ilagay nyo, guys. Huwag masyadong magpamahal kasi nga wala pa tayong experience. So, dito, guys, Upwork Service Fee. May 20% sila, guys, every sahod mo dito. And then, explain this, guys, kung gusto nyo malaman kung bakit may 20% na service fee sila. But, sabi dito, the Upwork Service Fee is 20% when you begin a contract with a new client. Once you will bill over $500 with your client, the fee will be 10%. Okay, guys. Kapag baguhan ka pa lang dito kay Upwork, yes, may 20% sila na service fee. But kapag ang dami mo ng work na nagawa dito, like nakaabot ka na ng $500, is 10% na lang yung service fee na hihingin nila. So, since 20% tayo, guys, Dito sa ating $5, magkakaroon siya ng $1 na service fee. Okay? And then, click natin itong lastly, photo and location. Okay, malapit na natin matapos ang ating pag-setup ng account. So, dito guys, you can upload photo here, any kind of photo. Sabi dito, be a close-up of your face. Show your face clearly. No sunglasses. Be clear and crisp. Have a neutral neutral background so you can select the profile here guys and then sample ko guys ito yung gagawin kong profile okay ganyan mas mabuti na ganyan yung profile nyo guys para parang sobrang professional nyo guys ang ganda ko dyan ang galata <laughs> okay save natin yan guys okay and then ayan and then dito sa country yes Philippines dito guys lagay nyo yung complete address nyo, like Davao City, parang mga ganyan. Okay. Ah, okay. Sorry. Dito pala ang Davao City. Davao, Davao PH. Okay. Ganyan. Um, 8,000. And then, lagay mo yung food number mo, like 963-96-57. Okay. Sample lang yan siya, guys. Ha? And then, check your profile. Okay, guys. Dito na tayo, guys. Dito may up, submit profile. So, since may Upwork account na ako, and then hindi pwedeng mag-double yung Upwork account ko, so hindi natin siya isasubmit profile. But, this one, guys, ipapakita ko lang sa inyo kung ano yung overall view ng ginawa natin pag setup ng account. So, first, guys, dito makikita nyo yung profile picture niya Ayan, ang ganda natin. And then, yung name natin, yung location natin, and yung current time natin, guys. And then, dito, guys, ito yung um, services na in-offer ko, like social media management, data entry, and email management. So, you can edit that 
that one guys by clicking this one ah uh, okay and then dito guys ito yung description ko sa aking pagiging social media management pagiging isang data entry and email management dito so make sure na magandang maganda itong description na to guys para mas ma-attract nyo yung mga clients. And then, ito yung hourly rate ko, guys. And then, dito yung skills ko. The content creation, email marketing, the social management, and you can edit this one, guys, kapag may mga gusto kayong i-add dyan ng mga skills. Dito is work experience ko, guys. Hindi ko siya nilagay, but if ever may work experience kayo, so you can add this one, you can click this one, para i-add yung mga work experiences nyo. And then, education history nyo naman, guys. Dito, pwede nyo rin i-add ang education nyo kung anong degree yung natapos nyo, anong bachelor's degree, nag-masteral ba kayo, nag-doctorate, or anything na pwede nyo ilagay sa educational history nyo. And then, dito naman sa ibabaw, guys. Dito, this is your location. You are currently in Davao City, yes? Because I'm in Davao City, the language that I know how to speak is English and Tagalog. And English is converse, conversational ako. And Tagalog is native or bilingual kasi nga ito yung sarili kong pag may bisaya dyan, yes, kaya ko din. And then, yun na nga guys, isasubmit profile nyo siya after nyo makomplete lahat. But since hindi ko siya isasubmit profile, is it because may profile na ako dito kay Upwork? Okay guys, so ipinakita ko lang talaga sa inyo kung paano mag-set up ng account dito kay Upwork. And then guys, after that guys, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo kung ano yung itsura ni Upwork kapag may sariling account na kayo. And then, continue lang natin itong with Google since meron na akong sariling Upwork. Ayan. Okay, guys. Here it goes. Ito na yung magiging dashboard mo, guys. This is me, the queen na yun na sinasabi ko sa inyo. And then, you can click that one, guys, kapag na-approve na kayo dito kay Upwork. And then, ito na yung maging itsura ng profile nyo. As you can see, guys, dito, nilagay ko yung profile ko, yung queen A ko. And I am a verified, guys, ha? Kasi, venerified na ako ni ni Upwork and then tuturuan ko kayo kung paano mag magiging isang verified Upwork freelancer dito guys. And then ito yung um, ito yung sariling profile ko guys. Ito yung all profile ko guys as a social media marketing and email marketing and a data entry. And then $4 yung uh, hourly rate ko. And then dito guys ito yung description na ginawa ko guys. Sobrang quick lang niya pero inalagay ko lahat yung mga kaya kong gawin. And then dito guys, may sariling profile din ako sa data entry. And then may sariling profile din ako sa social media marketing ko guys. Dito sa sa baba naman, may total earnings na ako na $5 and the one job na yung natapos ko guys. And then sobrang bilis ko lang talaga nakahanap ng client. So ito yung overall profile ko guys. Work history ko guys. Wala pa, hindi ko siya nilagay, but lalagyan natin siya later. The portfolio, guys, ito yung mga sample portfolios ko kasi para mas matrack yung mga client ko. And then, ito yung skills na kaya kong gawin. And then, the industry that I'm in, ayan. Ito yung education ko, verification, lahat, guys, nandyan na siya. Ito yung magiging itsura ng platform ni Upwork, guys. And then, dito, you can click the find work, guys. And then you can search the social media media management or any kind na pwede nyong search dito na angkop sa skills nyo guys sa services na gusto nyong i-offer kay client. So, ang dami dito. As you can see, there are 10,294 jobs na pwede mo excuse me, na pwede mong applyan dito kay Upwork. So, sobrang ganda ni Upwork, guys. So, ayan lang, guys. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope na may natutunan kayo. And the next video that we will going to tackle about is kung paano natin i-set up yung portfolio natin dito kay Upwork, guys, para mas attractive tayo kay client. And thank you so much for watching. Paalam, God bless, and see you sa ating next video.